everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So, I know it's been a few months since some of the other parts have come up, and at least a month since another part. Um, I was working through a list because, as you all know, I've got lots of pieces in rotation rather than just focusing on them all at once because they take me so long. But I decided, rather than going back to the beginning of that list, I decided I would just continue on with my list. Um, so, yes, it's just an envelope. See, this is my list here. I've tried, I've started trying to work on like a colouring order for the colouring books so that I'm keeping on working through the pieces and so you're getting a range of things. So, a couple of months ago I did fairy tales. Um, I haven't actually updated Facebook or anything yet, as you've probably all noticed, Facebook or Instagram, just because I kind of have been recuperating from surgery. Um, but these are ones that went up whilst I was away it was World of Flowers and Animal Kingdom with the fish. Um, I'm now going to move on to Mythomorphia Medusa and then keep working through the list. So I've worked out I've actually got 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I've put at least 11 different pieces including a couple of my own art pieces in there so yeah so I'm just going to keep working through those and through the list and um, keep doing it that way and just add extras like the book stuff and that but um, videos still won't be going back to regularly or I want to get back to each day a week but whilst I'm not around in reception or whatever I can't really do that so I'm just basically doing what I can and what goes up goes up and eventually I hope to get back into the being able to post each day. It's just I am getting a lot better since surgery with my ankle. My right ankle is improving a lot um, just over the last few days I've noticed a lot of improvements but the problem is my left ankle has gone backwards a lot and it will need surgery eventually too. Um, the problem with my left ankle now is the other day I, I wasn't allowed to walk out with my boots out of the MRI scan for the left ankle and I had to hop on my left ankle because I'm not allowed to put any weight through the right ankle yet unless I have the brace or the ankle brace or the boot on it. And so of course my left ankle gave on me <laughs> and yeah, so fun times. But yeah, so I'm going to continue here with um, our Medusa colour along and keep working through these snakes. I, I was thinking of finishing it off camera, but I had someone recently ask about or finishing parts of it off camera and then just doing these leafy parts and the little decoration parts on camera and the snakes mouths, etc, etc. But um, I recently had someone ask if I'd be continuing it, so I've just decided I'm just gonna continue with the snakes and everything on the camera. I know it may be a bit the same, but it means you can follow how I'm doing it anyway and if you want to and that's just how I've decided that I'm going to keep going with it rather than doing that because I know I've got a lot of work in progresses that are my own personal pieces that I don't tend to have a lot of time for these days <laughs> just because um, typically when I'm colouring I'm doing my recordings or recording colour alongs or flip throughs or stuff like that. Like I do want to get back to my own pieces but it'll happen one day and then my other time seems to be filled with um, finishing book reviews and stuff for publishing companies because that's another thing I love doing on this channel. So yeah, we'll get there anyway. One day I'll get back to my own pieces but <laughs> right now it is what it is. So I'm going to continue here with um, my Prismacolor Premier Pencils and I'm going to start with my uh, Violet PC932 because as you probably remember I was only going to do the three blue slash green snakes so the rest of these are going to be pink slash blue snakes. So I'm going to start with my Violet and do that and then as you remember last time I started black background with black gel pen. We'll still keep working on that as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to start with my Violet PC932. And what we want to do is we're going to follow 
the areas of the shadow but also just to add in shadows where we think it's needed as well and also add in our scale techniques extra on top of that so well what I mean extra on top of that is where you can't see scales I want to draw in more scales on the snake because well I like having them more realistic and detailed looking I just love creating the details and that's why I spend so long creating or working on these images sometimes because I love doing the details pretty much so we're just going to add in our extra snake scales where it's white and there isn't any other colors and stuff on these as we also add in our little so I'm sort of following Kirby Roseanne's shading but also feel free to add in the shading where you think it needs it extra as well because that's how I like to do it so I kind of follow his shading but I also add it on top and it would help if I move my I've got paper behind it so that I don't these ones tend to like to rub the color off the back of the book so yeah <laughs> So I'm going to keep working on these and we're also going to add our scales in. See around here where he hasn't added shadows around this, where this little leaf would be. I add shadows around there because, um, well, obviously it's over the snake so it's creating shadows. Add a little bit of lighter areas around just that bit. I haven't been worrying about that too much because I'm sort of, I guess I'm going with more defined shadows with the snake. Um, but it's also kind of blending it in as well, but I will just add a little bit of that. I can't remember if I did it with the others or not, but it sort of doesn't look like it, so <laughs> who knows? So I'm just going to add in shadows where he doesn't have them as well. Um, depending on if it is where I think there should be shadows. But yeah, I'm hoping as I keep getting better, I'll get back to more regular videos and stuff like that. Right now I'm just doing it in between because um, I'm staying out at my grandparents' farm where my mum is sort of looking after things a bit and that so because I haven't been feeling really confident and I've been a bit unwell since surgery but I am getting a lot better as the days and weeks go by um I think I'm now about seven weeks or so it's about the 5th of June I had my surgery but yeah as time goes I'll keep recuperating and get better but then um Depending on what happens, I'll have to also get the surgery done on the left ankle, which will be fun, but it kind of needs to happen so that I can try and get my life back on track a bit. But in the meantime, we'll just work on getting back towards doing the videos more regularly and getting back home eventually so that I can shall we say do the videos more regularly as well because as you all know I obviously love doing my videos so yeah <laughs> and I'm really missing I'm actually I'll be honest I'm really missing doing these videos and sharing them with you all because I've been a bit bored out of my brain recently so yeah do the best we can anyway. Um, depending to it'll probably be between the half an hour to um, hour video. I can't say exactly how long because I want to try and do a few if I can. Um, so times will vary some may be a bit shorter for a bit um, I may have to split some into a couple of parts 
we'll just see how it goes, but I want to try and at least leave some, some videos going up for everyone for the next week or at least, at least one new video anyway. But yeah, I'm really missing doing my recording and my videos and Yeah, I haven't even had my colouring stuff out where I am, so yeah, but I want to sort of really get back into these, but the fact that I haven't had my colouring stuff out there, I guess doesn't help, but it is what it is. I'm just going to colour these areas, so I'm just focusing on the one little snake area for now and filling in this last little bit around this area and obviously I'll keep going around as I go and keep working around the piece so I'm just going to quickly check the time and see how much time we've used yep time to continue with another piece I'm surprised that one went a bit quicker, maybe because it was mostly shading, probably. I wasn't having to draw so many scales in, I guess. But yeah, I really miss this so much. So next I'm gonna come in with my uh, Prismacolor Premium Magenta PC930. And I wanna bring that over all of these shading areas as well as obviously over our little scales that we've previously done so we're kind of I guess blending the colors all over each other again how I tend to do it usually but I just like the color combos it allows for when I do that and I'm just gonna quickly bring in my violet and bring it in under this snake's head there and then I'm gonna go back to my magenta PC930 but you want to add this in, but we also want to add in a um, little bit of light, our light shadows for blending in the final colour. But I think I'll try to leave a bit of space for the final colour as well, obviously. But we kind of want to allow that option for blending in that colour. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to go over all the things and then I'm going to do the our little light shadow bits like I just did there um, at the end so that I, because I, I think it's a little faster that way but also it's I guess just how I like to work sometimes. Sometimes I like to do the light bits as I go, other times I like to do the light bits. Um, later and I've been finding with this one I've been tending to go through do all the tracing and then go over and do the light areas um, later with this one so I guess as people say each piece is unique and different and it's all done differently each time well at least I think that anyway Oh, and there's a spot I've missed there. So I'm just quickly going to come back with my Violet PC932. And there's just a spot here that I found that I missed that I didn't realize I'd missed. That was, um, I guess, part of the snake. Trying not to go over the little leafy areas, but obviously I have a little bit yet again. And as I keep telling myself, sometimes it's awkward to get in those little spaces and just have to do the best you can. And I want to come back with my magenta PC930. I'm going to add that in there, but we'll still add our final colours. But trying not to go over that um, leaf if we can, but if it happens, we'll just blend the other colours in over that colour. The best we can do because 
it happens at times it's happened in all the pieces because they're such small areas and sometimes when you're trying to color around those areas it just happens <laughs> it does So I am going to add a bit more of this magenta colour in these when I come back with my light, lighter source areas. So what I'll probably do with these bits is I'll do a bit of a snake and then a bit of the black background just as black background around that area. I'm thinking at least it won't be every part. Some parts will probably be only snakes, um, but it's a bit boring just doing plain back background for the, the whole video. Um, some parts of the videos I know have been mostly just doing stuff that's kind of monotonous or single colour like with the wild savannah line but it kind of needed to happen because well obviously some areas are going to be a bit more monotonous than others and because I'm doing this in real time I kind of don't want to skip things out on you so I'm just going to before I continue with the other bits I just want to add in a bit more of my magenta around these areas um, because I've still got a little bit of the light thing to go up here but I just want to do this now I kind of do what I feel like as I feel like it <laughs> trying to leave little bits of white space in there for our final colour now I want to continue here and I just want to bring in my violet again because there's a spot here there actually is shadows along where these snake bodies go on top and I kind of missed that so I just want to fill in that and then I want to come back to my magenta PC930 and I want to continue that along those areas and also fill in those shadows and those scales and yeah and then I think I'm going to pause it there for a minute because we're probably getting low on time and then I'm going to come back I think I probably will leave this on the shelf side so I can try and get another one done meantime so there are a few videos going up this week um, that's what I'd like to do so I'm going to think I'm going to aim for that because I've still got to edit and get them uploading yet so yeah I will be back shortly so hey everyone I'm back so getting myself positioned again. I briefly grabbed a mouthful of water and straight away back into it. <laughs> um, so now I want to continue with my final color for this part of the snake. Um, then we'll just do a black and then I think I will end that part there and then what I'll do is um, 
do my next video which is apparently wildlife wonders frogs and shrooms so with the Karen Diash luminance pencils so I think that's what I'm going to aim to do and then I'm going to go into my editing and uploading so I'm going to come in with my final color here which is hot pink PC993 and what I want to do is I just want to color this over all of those colors so even the areas where the shadows are just so that it all looks similar shall we say or the same or however you'd put it then we also want to color it over our scales because that's our final color with our sneaky scales so this is sort of our our lightest light source I guess you could say so we're trying to as you've noticed with these ones we're trying to leave like bits of light sources around so I'm gonna go over all my shadow areas as well with our hot pink and I'm gonna come back to those scales because I want to do each of them individually to make sure that the the color doesn't blend too much and take away sort of our light source area you want to make sure that we keep that want to make sure that I do cover where shadows are as well and now I'm going to come back and add that into these individual scales including the scales we've added these scales and then just go over all those shadow areas so basically now we're just filling in our I guess our final uh, bits of the snake um, as you'll probably notice it seems to get it gets quicker as you fill in more of the snake with your colors and um, I guess because as you fill in the space there's less space and so it doesn't take as long and I've gone over an area with the pink there again not trying to but I have so yeah you'll notice there is areas where I have gone over things a bit without meaning to so I'm just going to work those colors in as you've all heard my thing about rubbers before and not liking to use rubbers too much on these because they don't work properly with the pencil they sort of damage the paper and then you've still got all sorts of odd colors underneath anyway because they don't rub off properly because I've done tests on just normal paper before so yeah I probably don't need to go into that uh, discussion yet again <laughs> there's all our little snake body area so I just want to grab my uh, gel pens because I'm going to finish this little bit off with doing a bit of my black gel pen and then um, obviously well we shall leave it at that for this part and I shall try and do another part of Millie Marotta's Wildlife Wonders Frogs and Shrooms image so yeah so I'm going to come in with my black Uniball Signo gel pen 0.7 millimeters and you'll notice this one I've used quite a bit I've got a spare but I'll probably have to get another one sometime in the near future and I just want to use this is what I tend to use for backgrounds most of the time because I haven't been using ink or acrylic or whatever because I don't want to bleed through to the back page and stuff so I tend to use just gel pen 
to do my black backgrounds as it stands currently. That's not to say that um, with my Summer Dreams image I'm actually using uh, the black Karen Diash Luminance pencil because it creates a really nice black background but just through my colouring books I figured gel pen's fine because um, well, it's not going to be exposed to the light like a piece that I'm doing myself which needs the light fast pencils so that's why I'm kind of using the the black pencil there um, but yeah so it sort of depends because with my own images I'm trying to unless it's something just for anyone to regularly colour um, if it's something that I want to eventually like aim for an e exhibition or whatever with those images I kind of want to have them light fast because if I'm going to sell them obviously I don't want to sell something that isn't fully light fast but there are ways of recommending things like UV glass and stuff can help reduce the amount of things if you don't use totally light fast pencils but I still want to aim to get Derwent light fast pencils eventually too but currently I don't have the funds for it because of unexpected surgery and blah 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 but I'll get there eventually I'm kind of hoping to get their 100 wood set but I can't actually see the 100 wood set available on their website now so I'm not sure if they're available or not or what but yeah something to work towards anyway but I guess if it's something that's out of the light then I'm just using the black gel pen but for one of my own coloured pieces I don't think I would or a piece that I was intending to sell or whatever I don't think I would just use a uh, black gel pen um, but then obviously in colouring books I don't want to use anything that's going to bleed through or wipe out the page behind either so you'll probably notice that I've, I'm always very careful about that so yeah so it kind of I use them in here but for my own pieces I'll probably find other methods for doing black backgrounds like the black Karen Diash luminance pencils and things like that so but I do notice that some other people use ink and things like that for in their colouring books and it doesn't bleed through on that but I haven't really played with well I don't know if it bleeds through or not I haven't actually seen but I kind of don't want to risk it shall we say so for colouring books when it's just not going to fade because they're just going to stay in the colouring books I do just use the black gel pen but probably for your own pieces if you're intending on selling anything or whatever I probably wouldn't recommend using the black gel pen but I find I can get a really good black background in here but um, yeah so I'll just I'm just thinking um, I'll pause for a moment and see if I can show you what I've been doing with the Karen Diash pencils with the black background because I know people do different things for black backgrounds and um, I know different methods are useful for different times but for like colouring books I don't see an issue just using black gel pen but for my other pieces I am trying to think of other methods which I guess there is acrylics and ink and stuff like that but I haven't used that but I'm just going to pause for a minute and get my Summer Dreams piece and show you the black pencil, black Karen Diash luminance pencil which is creating a really nice black background on there and then I will be back and we'll continue a little bit more with our black gel pen and yeah then we'll finish this bit off and I just realized I was out of frame then whoops so sorry about that I didn't even realize I was out of frame um bummer I'll be back 
So hey everyone, I'm back now that I've uh, messed up with being out of frame with my colouring again. Whoops! Um, so this is my um, summer dream sketch. As you'll probably have seen me doing the speed coing, I am working on tracing a piece of this um, to just do it with ink tents and then put up on a Patreon page and working on some other drawing designs and stuff like that. Um, which I might show you quickly here. But yeah, so this is uh, where I'm using my black Karen Ash Luminance pencils. As you tell, it's creating a really nice black background. So you'll probably have noticed that I am typically a pencil person and that's where I like to sort of major in. So I'm sort of, I guess I, that's why I haven't really tried ink or acrylic or whatever. I'm probably going to have to use some acrylic white paint to do the stars and stuff on this image because obviously, obviously I want it to look like a space background eventually, but um, currently I'm just doing the pencil um, pencil layers first. The acrylic is going to be the very last thing that I do. So, um, so yeah, um, so you'll see obviously how well that black Karen Diash Luminous pencil is working. Um, I'm just going to carefully slide that back over here and then I will show you a couple of other designs. These aren't anywhere near finished but they are designs that I've been working on over time. Um, if I can find the right ones. So obviously these are nowhere near done yet but I'm still working on them for this series. Um, so I don't know if you can see I'll just zoom out a bit so you can sort of see it a bit and shift the lighting a bit so that it's not so much on there but you'll notice I'm sort of working with I guess sort of some broken glass and I'm gonna have some space themes and obviously an animal or an, and some plants behind it and stuff like that I'm still deciding whether exactly what I want in this area. I was thinking like a black hole kind of thing, sucking things in, but I'm still working on that. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do or not. I'm not going to go into many details because obviously I don't want to give away my ideas. And this is my other one that I've been working on recently. So you can't see everything, but you'll notice some parts I have started outlining with um, my uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, which is waterproof and also light fast. So that's, I guess you could use the Pit Artist Pens to create the black background as well for light fastness, but I tend to find um, I just like using pencils and if I can if I have a decent black pencil and I'm really looking forward to trying Derwent's light fast range but as of yet well obviously funs but yeah so I'm kind of doing a, a bit of a unique theme I'm aiming for about 20 images eventually in this series so yeah um, if anyone would like to um, be part of the inspiration in this series, please tell me your favorite flower, your favorite either insect or fish. Um, obviously I'm not going to be repeating the fish or insect, so currently ones that are out is sunflower and praying mantis and also Venus flytraps are out as well as um, I think it's anglerfish as well as pink lingers out and um, I can't remember the flower for that one but yeah and so 
and if you have um, a favorite item as well that is kind of easy enough to draw I would be happy to somehow incorporate you into um, my little exhibition because it's based around people who inspire me or who who are supportive of me and stuff like that and so I'm forming a series based around people and their support but also obviously this one is um, my one um, I don't know I just I like something about jellyfish so obviously this is mine I don't know if fuchsias are my favorite flower but they're I obviously like all kinds of flowers but <laughs> I really like the fuchsias but I have repeated the fuchsias in this one just because it worked for like a hanging light kind of thing so obviously um, hang on I'll just get the other piece back well I guess I can repeat the flower a bit if it's in different things but you'll notice here I've got fuchsias in this one as well I just realized that so I'm trying not to repeat it too much if I can but it depends on what sort of works for the image I guess but yeah if you do want to tell me your favorite flower and either your favorite insect or favorite fish be it um, like jellyfish or fish um, I would love to know because I would love to um, incorporate some pieces from people who have been supporting me all this time with my colouring and my YouTube channel and my Facebook groups and stuff like that so yeah please feel free to put that down below and I will definitely look at incorporating you into what I hope will be a future exhibition excuse that with all the <laughs> Uh, but yeah anyway we'll get back to the black gel pen now that we um, are actually in camera frame I better double check that before I put on my feet up again uh, yes we are I think zoom in free focus yes but yeah so let me know those things in the comments of this video if you do want to um, have something inspired by you or um, like that and eventually I won't be showing how I do the ones that I'm going to have for an exhibition but I will be doing uh, another image of those and doing a color along um, offering a PDF those sorts of things eventually when I get a Patreon set up and so you'll be able to find the images that are inspired by you or um, because of your support and stuff I just I want to do something that will I guess incorporate some of my followers a bit and I will um, keep putting a bit of a reminder in that in my videos in the meantime whilst I keep working on these obviously I've still got two images to finish and this one to colour and um, when I get back home I've got to finish if I can get the space finish tracing my A2 image to get that ready for working on and yeah so um, these images are A3 but I will work on PDFs obviously when <laughs> when the time comes to do that and offer them um, like if you become a patreon or something you'll be able to download the PDFs and color in your image and stuff like that so that is kind of what I'm working towards with my own art pieces as well as um, this because as I've said before I really want to go somewhere with my art um, and yeah so I'm trying to think of ways of getting my own pieces out there as well as continuing with the adult colouring. Um, obviously as I've said some of the pieces of my art pieces that are going up currently obviously that's a, a sampler kind of piece on my YouTube channel 
but then I'm going to, after those pieces are finished, I'm going to start working. I've still got a research Patreon a lot and stuff like that, so I'm going to graduate them over to Patreon with my own pieces, but I'm going to obviously keep the adult colouring on YouTube. That is not going anywhere. Book reviews aren't going anywhere from YouTube. And also, um, I will obviously still have speed colourings of my own images going up on YouTube, but they won't be telling you how to do it if you want to find out how to do one that's, I guess, I will still do a speed colour along of the version I'm doing on Patreon, but I'll also do a speed colour along version of speed, not just the speed version, obviously not saying how I'm doing it, but a speed version of my own piece that I'm doing for the exhibition also on YouTube. So you'll still be able to look at those, but um, if you want to find out, I will be having them available on Patreon as tutorials on Patreon when I work out how to do that eventually, but I want to work on doing more images before I start setting up Patreon and all of that. So, but, um, so obviously adult colouring will still definitely be here because that obviously isn't going anywhere because I love it and I really enjoy doing it and I don't want to get rid of it and stuff like that, but I also do want to get into doing more of my own pieces and start trying to get my own stuff out there as well as the adult colouring stuff and all of that because, well that is my goals and inspiration and obviously considering my bung ankles and that I can't really get work, I'm under skilled now um, and so I want to try and see if I can take my art somewhere and so as I've said in the past that'll all just be things that I will work on with time as the future goes and stuff like that but I will be offering some of those and that also comes into if you do want to tell me your favorite flower and your favorite insect or um, or fish I need one or the other and your favorite item then you will be able to also I guess color in an image that is inspired by you as well if you join that patreon or something like that because I will be offering those with tutorials but obviously I won't be showing how I do the pieces that I'm doing for my exhibition but I will be showing a version of that with different colors on Patreon and just my own version obviously without any notice on how to do it on YouTube but also the version I'm doing on Patreon I'll just show a speed color along version without details on YouTube as well but yeah so um, I'm just kind of excited about getting back to those things as my ankles improve but obviously I'll still have another surgery to go through again in the future but I guess one day at a time um, I've been getting quite down lately so I'm starting to realize I just need to take one day at a time and just do what I can do at the time so yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this um, color along part I'm going to go and set up for the next part now and then or I might actually have to start editing. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to start editing, so I'm probably not going to have time for the next video, but I'm going to get this one up. I also did an owl crate um, unboxing earlier, just book related, obviously. And yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed this um, color along. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Please. I will keep reminding in other videos please leave your suggestions if you do want to be part of my future exhibition and eventually have those images available for you to get from patreon and download and color and all of those sorts of things I just want to get some stuff in advance before I start doing that and yeah I would love to hear from you I really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time Oh, and please leave a like, subscribe and comment as it always helps. And yeah, I really love doing this. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.